the latest update for T-Rex 25.2. They've added in being able to dual mine ETH and Alifium, or Alifium, I'm not entirely sure how it's said. I've heard it a couple different ways. I trust the way Red Panda Mining says it in his videos, but I'm not too sure what, what the actual way to say it is. So anyways, what it does is you're able to do 68% unlock on ETH and 32% unlock on Alephium, which then allows you to have 100% unlock on your LHR card. This video is gonna be two things in one, mainly because with T-Rex and doing ETH and Alephium dual mining, you're able to actually triple coin mine and you can do Ethereum and Zilliqa and then Alephium as well. So you can triple coin mine with the new T-Rex update. That's what I'm gonna show. There's already some videos on how to do it on Hive OS. So this is going to be minor stat instructions since a lot of the people I think that watch my videos also use minor stat. So this applies for MSOS and minor stat windows, either one that you're using. So first things first, we need the pool and wallet. So for the wallet, the ALPH, got it pasted right in there. Then for the pool, we're going to come over to mining pool stats. When you search Alephium, you're going to see Hero Miners, Wooly Pooly, which I think that's probably the most popular, but I think most people have switched over to Hero Miners because they have a 0% pool fee, which is really handy instead of 1.9%. Hero Miners, I think, is a little more outdated on like the website side, but nonetheless, 0% is better than 1.9%. So obviously you can see a lot of, this was actually when I, when I first set this up, Wooly Pooly was on the top and Hero Miners was actually second. So kind of interesting now to see that it switched by the time I'm recording this. So we're gonna come over to Hero Miners and scroll down. We're going to see, for me, I'm gonna do North America West I could also do North America East, but oh well, North America West, and then we'll copy this address. And we'll come over here, miners, and we'll create our pool, paste it in there, click add or save, and now you have your pool and your wallet. So then we're gonna come over to our config, which I could do a config template, but since I already configured this one, we're going to just go to edit config so I can show you. So we're gonna do our client as T-Rex. We're gonna do advanced, and we gotta have the dual mine setup instead of just mining Ethereum. So it's gonna be pools, user, wallet, and I'm doing ETH Zill. Like I said, you can triple mine if you do ETH plus Zill through eZill, or you can also do it proxy mining through, don't remember what the, what is the, Pool called shard pool. So through shard pool, you can proxy mine to like ether mine or flex pool or something on ETH, and then shard pool you will be doing Zilliqa. So either way, but we're doing Ezil, so you're going to do ETH and Zilliqa on Ezil. Pool right there, ETH Ezil, and then you need to have your watchdog obviously Al, uh, algo et hash and then lhr algo needs to be blake three user two and then we're gonna have our wallet alephium and then the pool alephium hero miners and then yeah that's pretty much it so this is the template that you're going to need you could also add intensity in here if you really wanted to like you could put intensity at 68 or something for the lhr unlock feature and that but it's going to auto tune anyway so like if it's at 68 and it detects LHR it's going to drop down to like 67.5 or whatever so it doesn't really matter you can just leave it as this and then you're going to do save and then when you're up and running it's going to look like this for you know we're doing easel eth but however you have it set up if you're doing proxy mining with silica so we're doing eth 99% of the time then for you know every 90 minutes for one to two minutes we're mining silica 
getting just under 100 mega hash. It kind of bumps up sometimes to 100 mega hash. It just comes down to whether it's at 32 or if it gets up to 33 based on the overclocks that I have. You know, the LHR, I think it's still trying to, to figure it out. It only, it's only been up for 33 minutes. So the longer that it runs, the better the LHR unlock's gonna be. So probably stick around 100 mega hash once that's done. And then on Alephium, we're getting just about 700 mega hash. You saw it was 700 and then it dropped down. So what this allows us to do is instead of just mining ETH where yes, my mega hash would be slightly higher, but as far as what that's going to equate for profitability, isn't a lot more. Like this says 96 right now, it's you know at 105 or something, 100 whatever mega hash, it's probably at like 110 or something, I don't know, so slightly higher. But then you have 21 USD on Alephium, and that's all based on the current profitability. The more and more people that mine Alephium, the network hash rate's gonna go up and the profitability is gonna go down. But it's really cool, really nifty. You can see in here in the miner, here's Ethereum, 32, 32, 32. LHR, it's at 68, which like I said, you could go put intensity but it's gonna auto switch if it detects anything. And then here is Alephium, 236, 232, 237, total 706 mega hash. If we come over here to the pool, which I had this running for a long time earlier. So you can see when we put our address in, current hash rate, average 24 hours, and then unconfirmed, pending, plus total paid. So it's our, I've already been paid out some because I had it running prior. So if we go to here, Alephium, we'll just do, yeah, roughly 700 mega hash. So 0 0.7 giga hash power consumption. We'll leave it at zero, zero. Calculate. Currently it's showing for last 24 hours, a dollar and yeah, a dollar and one cent maybe. And then current shows just under a dollar. But anyways, any extra profit is profit. So you're not actually adding any power consumption per se because I didn't change the overclocks at all. So my wattage is entirely the same, 88, 105, 90. I have them set at 110 overclocks are here, 110 power limit, 1500 locked core clock, 2400 mem clock, fan speed 80. So power consumption is the same, but now I'm able to capitalize more on my profits, not just with with Ethereum and Alephium, but I have Ethereum, Zilliqa, and Alephium. So if we go here to like Zilliqa, we'll do, how much hash rate is that? So 90, we'll just do 100. We come here to Zilliqa, 100 mega hash, calculate, it's adding roughly another 45, 48, roughly 45 cents. It all adds up. You know, the more and more per day that we can get, the more and more per week we get, and the more and more per month we get. So super cool being able to triple mine Ethereum, Zilliqa, and Alephium all together. I just wanted to showcase how you set up Ethereum and Alephium so that Everybody that wants to take advantage can. Thanks.